viewers welcome to the youtube channel h2o chemistry in this video we are going to talk about the concept called electron affinity see in the previous videos we have covered the topic atomic radii ionic radii and ionization energy so when we talk about atomic radius it's a distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron so that is the radius of an atom we have seen what is the trend of atomic radii if you if you look at it when you go across the period the size of an atom gets decreases so the atomic radius gets decreases so that is the first point my dear children the second one the second one along the group what will happen along the group if you look at it when you go down the group the energy shells are added right so the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron increases so the atomic radius increases what about ionic ionic radius they have a similar trend when compared to atomic radius along up, across the period the ionic radius decreases along the uh, along the group the ionic radius increases for the same reason ionization energy the energy required remember for this process we re we require energy the process requires energy the amount of energy required to remove the loosely held electron in the valence shell of an atom of an gaseous isolated atom to form its cation so when the nucleus and the outermost electron distance is small the distance between the nucleus and the outermost electron is small the nucleus firmly attract the electron so to remove the particular electron we take large amount of we, we require large amount of large amount of energy so the ionization when you go across the uh, uh, across the period what happens increases because size of the atom gets decreases now come to the next one along uh, along the period ionization energy decreases because when you go down the group the distance between the nucleus and the outermost shell increases so we require less energy to remove the electron so that is the idea now let us uh, find out the meaning of the word electron affinity electron affinity electron we know subatomic particle it has a negative charge affinity means loving affinity means what loving so the process of adding of electron so the process of adding of electron is called electron affinity right so let us imagine a, a, a idea so let us imagine an atom like this center we have a nucleus the electron is added to the atom so the atom gains that particular electron in this case it is very opposite to that of ionization energy because here the electrons are released electrons are, are removed from an atom so this process requires energy because we need to break the electrostatic force of attraction between the nucleus and the electron so to break that this process release and this process requires energy let us come to this so this is just an opposite to ionization energy the electron is getting added to the atom so here the energy is released energy is released so this is what you have to understand so it is a gaseous atom it is a gaseous ion right so i can say it is an isolated gaseous atom gaseous atom so when you have isolated gaseous atom like this in this valence shell the valence shell of the gaseous isolated atom we are adding an electron we are adding an electron if you add the electron the atom loses energy atom loses energy so that that this process we call the electron affinity right so 
the electron the amount of energy released so that is what we are going to define the amount of energy released when an electron is added to the valence shell of isolated gaseous atom to form its anion right so this is an anionic part of this gaseous isolated atom so let me simply write this a is a gas isolated atom it gains electron so it becomes gaseous form again but anion plus it releases energy because just opposite ionization energy so this is how we can represent easily if you look at a example the chlorine right the chlorine is in gaseous form chlorine atom isolated chlorine atom in gaseous form in gaseous form gains energy why do i say chlorine because chlorine is a non metal they have a tendency to gain electrons remember chlorine is an allergen allergens usually have a gaining tendency now the chlorine becomes chloride which is in gaseous state which is chloride ion this process releases energy okay how do you define this electron affinity so let us uh, do that now the amount of energy released when 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 the electron is added to the valence shell because we are adding to the valence shell of isolated gaseous atom to form its anion so this is the definition of electron affinity right so the electron affinity is the amount of energy released when the electron is added to the valence shell of isolated gaseous atom to form its anion so this is an idea my dear children what about the unit the unit is very similar to ionization energy it is measured in kilojoules per mole or kilo calories per mole or electron volt per atom got it so this is an idea now let us see the trend in the periodic table trend in the periodic table now i have a question to you what will happen if the size of the atom is smaller the nucleus have a strong attraction force so that the incoming electron will be absorbed very strongly this is an idea so when the size is smaller when the size is smaller the nucleus have a strong attraction force right so the incoming electron is strongly attracted so when the size is smaller when size of an atom is small the nucleus has strong attraction force on the incoming electron incoming electron what about the size is large when the size is large the attraction force will be small right less so this is an idea my dear children now 
size of an atom plays a role major role here now let us go the electron affinity in the period so when you go from left to right along the period lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine neon so what will happen the size decreases the charge also what happens nuclear charge increases right so what will happen so the electron affinity mainly depends upon the size when the size decreases nucle nucleus strongly attract the incoming electrons right so the electron affinity increases along the period what about group when you go top to bottom what will happen to the size of an atom my dear children now then the size of an atom increases you could see the lithium sodium potassium rubidium when you go size increases size increases so the nucleus attraction power become less so the incoming electrons not be added firmly right am i right or not so that is the reason the electron affinity decreases down the group which is very similar to ionization energy so this is the idea my dear children the next one is a very important one that is a one mark from this point of view so we will see what is the one mark okay the one mark is this electron affinity of noble gases or zero why just for an uh, understanding so the electron affinity of noble gases or zero because if you look at the helium neon argon krypton xenon so the this is as a two electron the last shell this is 2,8 this is a 2,8 this is 2,8 18,8 right 2,8 18,8 right so xenon is a uh, 54 already we have come across a uh, 28 right so let us uh, write the electronic configuration now 18,8 so this is 54 look at the last shell electron alone this is 8 so right so this is 8 so what we can confirm they are uh last shell is filled with eight electrons that means according to octet rule they are more stable that means they already have a stable electronic configuration stable electronic configuration so so we cannot add already the space is filled right the space outermost shell is filled with eight electrons so there is no space no space to accommodate additional electrons hence hence their ele electron affinity is zero so this is an idea my dear children um i hope this is an important uh, one mark so keep it in mind so it will be very helpful in learning the electron affinity concept keep watching if you like this video subscribe and click the bell button to get the notification instantly like share and comment